Okay, weird tangent, but bear with me. Okay, so you know how in the most recent uh, Superman cartoon, how there was a lot of discourse about Lois getting mad about Clark keeping the whole Superman secret from her. On one hand, Lois absolutely overreacted. Lois! And she did not give Clark enough reason to be honest with her. She said, I'm going to expose Superman. He's dangerous. Or things like, it's all Superman's fault. Roggity, roggity, raw. And then she has the audacity to say, oh, but if I knew it was you, Clark, I wouldn't have done anything. Given the fact that she lied in the very first episode. Bruh. That she used them and lied to them. She said, oh, I hate liars. She's being an utter hypocrite. Now, if the show would actually address that she was being a hypocrite, I would be a lot more forgiving of it. And it seemed to be do that in the first episode, but forgot to do that after this part, but whatever. But the thing is, at the end of the day, Clark still lied. At the very first episode, they made a promise to each other, no more secrets. He made a promise that he couldn't keep. Now, there is a definite argument to be made about who shoulders more responsibility in the situation. Absolutely. Clark has is like 10% responsible and Lois is absolutely 90% responsible, but Clark still has to own up to his 10%. This is a principle, like not just in writing, but in relationships. Even if you feel that the other person is 90% responsible for the relationship going sour, you still always got to own up to your 10% because the other person might believe that you are the one who is 90% responsible. You may only be 10% responsible, but it feels like a 90 to them. If you apologize for that, you know. And let me guess, the painter is being in the right, Missy Dolphin? Yeah, they, they do. They, they do. It started out so well. The show started out so well. And then just like, Bruh. I just thought that was so stupid. Oh, well, not Clark. If I knew it was you, I wouldn't have actually done it. Oh, yeah, really? Okay, Lois. It's like Superman is dangerous and I'm going to expose all his secrets. I suppose you just meant that metaphorically. Come on. Come on, man. Qu quit the bull crap. But I don't like when people lie to me. Yeah, so why'd you do that the very first episode? If the show actually addressed how much of a hypocrite she was being, I would be way more forgiving of it. If it was like a problem that she knew she had. And she was dealing with. Oh, this guy overreacted. What dude? She figured it out before he could say it. Well, yeah, so did Jimmy. But look at the difference in their reactions. Jimmy, he said, yeah, I knew you were Superman the whole time, but I figured that you would tell me this when you were comfortable, when you were ready. It's clearly something he didn't want to talk about. He was far more gracious and far more understanding about the whole thing. He, he got mad for a silly reason. The only reason that he was mad was because Lois was told first. When really, he wa she wasn't told first, she kind of forced it out of him. Also, consider the fact that the secret he was keeping could literally throw the world into chaos. She openly said she was going to expose it without any thought for how it would affect us. Exactly! <laughs> the show really seems to forget how drastic Lois is, and... <laughs> Yes, I do agree, Thiff guy. At least Lois is not Amber. She's worse. Yes. So the thing is, with Amber and Mark, it's another 10 and 90% issue. Amber is absolutely worse. You made me feel stupid and unimportant. It's a secret identity. And because you don't trust me. I'm trusting you now. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, it's cute. You think that's enough. What? She would have a lot more of a leg to stand on if she didn't know that Mark, Mark was invincible for a big amount of time. Cause she gave him so much grief, even though she knew why he had to keep ditching her. When you're dealing with superheroes with secret identities, the issue is that when they're dating someone, there is a line where you should tell them their secret identity. I'm Batman. You wanna know my secret identity? For a lot of people, Amber's and Mark's relationship didn't progress that far. Mark did make some big mistakes in how he handled Amber and how he handled telling his secret to Amber. The first one was he did not handle the work-life balance very well. Let's be honest. He jumped in at first without really knowing what he was doing. And another thing, and I think where Amber sort of had a point, but not really, 
was Mark did not tell Amber his secret because he trusted her. He told Amber his secret to get her off his back. The fact that Amber knew is the, what completely throws her case out the window. She knew exactly why he was blowing her off for a long time and she still gave him grief. She was testing him and let, 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 okay. Ladies in the audience, do not play games with your significant other and men with women. Do not play games to test the relationship. No one likes that. That is a surefire way to ruin a relationship. Do not test. <laughs> Another one of the worst parts is that, again, in the show Invincible, treated it as if Amber was fully in the right. <laughs> Sorry to keep on the subject, but I just realized that there was another example of this. Tila from Masters of the Universe. She was mad that Adam lied to her. And, you know, fair enough. It's like you knew him for the longest time and still lied. But the problem is that he was literally asked to keep it a secret. He wasn't trying to maliciously keep it from her. It was, you know, like, hey, uh, I was asked to keep this a secret. The thing is, is that she made it all about herself. Like, oh, I'm wounded. I was so lied to after Adam died. Adam literally died and she made it all about herself in front of his parents. There is a way to kind of do that, but also salvage it. If she was being mad at him and trying to blame him and being angry to just avoid being sad, that would be fair. But no, she just continues to make it all about herself and it just... Like, especially that one line. That one line really pissed me off was... You left us. You left us all. Uh, I died. Yeah, and the rest of us had to live with it. Like, oh my gosh, you selfish f Oh my gosh. Is that it? Woof. Because she's like, oh no, I'm a warrior. I have to be strong. I have to be... Anger's a fine emotion, but sadness... No. If the show did that or if it's at least hinting at that, that would be fine. And she apologized for it as well. Just like, I'm sorry, I was being very selfish. But wait, there's more! Now that I think about it, I was just reminded of another sequence where the superhero secret Careful identity crush, all that. It was actually from the Big Hero 6 TV show. The girlfriend is the daughter of the police chief and you know, he was keeping a secret that I'm part of Big Hero 6. Hero was, he was doing that whole thing. And she finds out, she gets mad that she didn't tell him. It's just like, okay, so the police chief didn't like me. And why would I tell, tell you about this? Because you need to trust me. And besides, the police can handle all this. I'm like, really? The police can handle the things that Big Hero 6 deals with. Here's the scraps you're after. Really? Those are like Avengers level threats and you're saying that the police can handle it? No. No. Like, 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 